My name is Kjell van Zern, and my company is Pyro Incorporated. Uh, we manufacture bamboo art panels, uh, we also use maple, and the main service that we provide is through our website where people can upload their digital photos and then we print and mount those onto uh, panels. I think the thing for me about local manufacturing or US based manufacturing that's really important is for the public to start getting engaged with the conversation as to why it's important to bring it back. And the reason is simple, is that when you have local manufacturing, those manufacturers are going to employ people in the US, they have to, uh, and they're most likely going to start buying materials in the US because that, especially with shipping costs these days, can end up being cheaper for them. And also, with bringing manufacturing back to the US, most companies I've engaged with when it comes to US-based manufacturing are doing what they call a lean or just-in-time manufacturing. So they're carrying as minimal amount of inventory as possible, and that keeps the cost way down. The old model of US-based manufacturing, which was just to buy everything in bulk and make everything in bulk, that's, that's dying, and it's being replaced by something else. Um, that was started in the 1940s by Toyota Motor Corporation as a way to combat with the American motor market, and they won that battle. They are now the largest, based, uh, largest auto manufacturer in the world. And I've been very inspired by what they did, and I've read a lot of books about lean manufacturing, and just to bring it all back to US-based manufacturing, that's something that can help us do manufacturing in the US and keep the cost down and keep money in the bank to be able to employ people locally and pay them the wages that they need to be paid. So that is something that I'm very interested in and I see as a key driver to bringing manufacturing back to the US. So it's both the manufacturers realizing how to manufacture in the US and using this new model and also for the public to be engaged in that conversation and realize that, yes, we want to create these jobs here locally, we want to um, bring manufacturing back, but we also have to accept that we're going to have to pay more for our goods, because there's no way that we can do it in the US for the same cost. Mostly, we can't do it for the same cost as doing it overseas. And that will change over time, but for now, we can't do that. Uh, buying local, why is it important? Well, it's obviously important for the local economy. Money you spend locally stays lo here locally, and that helps everybody. Uh, means more taxes are going into the local government. Uh, not everybody likes that, but everybody likes roads and schools. So. Um, the other thing that's important for people to realize is that when you do buy locally, by helping people who are working at these local companies, you're also providing more jobs. So, uh, and that's also something you know, that really drives the supply work to also, as much as possible, we try and buy our materials locally. Uh, and everybody that works for Plywork works in Portland. Um, and a really important thing for people to realize is that even though you're paying more to buy something locally, that money is coming back to you in a certain way. And the reason you're paying more is because the people working here locally are getting probably paid more than something you're buying that's coming from overseas. So if you want to support that, then definitely buy local.